A two-year study led by scientists at Georgian Court University will gauge the impact of an invasive plant called Asiatic sand sedge on the dunes of the Jersey Shore. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has committed nearly $150,000 to the effort through its Sea Grant program. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The natural foundation for sand dune ecosystems along our coast is American beach grass. It captures blowing sand, grows taller as the dune builds up, and spreads out to secure a beachhead for ground-hugging shrubs and trees, a home for insects, birds, reptiles, and mammals. On dunes from Sandy Hook to Cape May, American beach grass is being outcompeted by an invasive sedge called Carex. When it first came here, it didn't seem to move very fast, and for reasons we don't understand, suddenly now it's expanding extremely rapidly. It starts to create what's called a monoculture. Nothing else can survive, and that means that the native plants are completely eliminated from the dunes, so that the dune looks different and it works differently. Some of the changes are plain to see. But understanding, prediction, and planning require data. Not too many studies have really addressed um, what happens when invasive species affect higher levels. I mean, we can see that the plants compete, but we don't really know yet what happens when the plants affect other things, like the foxes that are out here or the insects. Collecting insects is a major part of this project. To find out how or if the invasive plant affects their abundance or diversity. So we take them and look at them under a microscope, and our job is then to classify them, which can take from five minutes to two hours. Sea Grant funding has enabled the project leaders to enlist students from Georgian Court University and Brookdale Community College. I think it's probably the most gratifying thing I've done so far at school. With GPS devices, they're mapping the invasion. We go around the carracks, one person going clockwise, the other one going counterclockwise, and then we, you know, map the area, name it. These dunes are supposed to protect the, be um, the mainland, and some say that the carracks might be bad, and knowing more about it would be the best way to figure out how we can um, eradicate it if needed. The most closely studied sites are Sandy Hook, Island Beach State Park, and Holgate. But the students are mapping literally from one end of the state to the other. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Island Beach State Park.